this video is about getting back into my routine after getting extremely sick. I've pretty much had a whole week just slumping on the sofa. Everything's been piling up. The house is the messiest it's probably ever been. It's time to reset. Enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, this is a product I have to recommend for your face. It's literally the only thing, the only skin thing I've tried that not only feels like it's making a difference, but actually looks like it's making a difference. It's called The Ordinary. The light just went out, so I've had to move into the toilet, but I'm not on the toilet, in the background. Anyway, it's called The Ordinary. It looks kind of scary, but it's really quite innocent. It's gonna look scary. Pop it on. I feel like this is very, Halloween appropriate. It kind of starts to tingle after a little while, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's painful. I just say every now and then I might feel like a bit of a sting, but not much at all. Do a patch test on your skin before you do it. Anyway, so I've got it on, looks scary, I know. Now we're gonna set an alarm and get it off. I just got some of it in my mouth and I can't even describe what the flavor was like. Not advisable. If you start using it twice a week, you'll know you'll notice a huge difference like in the texture of your skin. It just like smooths out any imperfections and things like that. So now I'm gonna go do my moisturizing and stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to use a very plain moisturizer for sensitive skin, just to add a bit of color to my face because I'm quite pale. I've been using this self tan drops just shake the bottle and then i put four or five drops into the moisturizer it's 
smells lovely. It doesn't give me spots, which I find is quite rare with tanning stuff on my face. Um, and it's just, I just love putting it on. It makes me feel like the smell of it is so nice. It makes me feel like clean and just, uh, like a goddess. Now I'm saying I don't get spots. But I do have a couple of spots at the moment because of, well it's around here so that normally means hormonal. So I haven't found anything that helps apart from grease lightning from Lush. Literally before bed, just put a tiny bit on um, and it's, oh, it's like a miracle worker honestly. If you haven't tried this, you have to try it. If I get there soon enough, they don't even come out, they just disappear. You know when you can feel it like just starting to swell up below the skin? If I attack it straight away with this, I'm usually pretty safe. And I put too much on my hands, I'm just going to rub it into my legs. Okay, the next thing, hair. I'm going to sort out my hair so that tomorrow I can just wake up and go. I wish I knew this years ago. I could have had these curls when I was at school instead of having crazy messy hair. I wish I'd known this, but hey, here we are. At least I know it now. I haven't had to put heat on my hair for years. And that's the reason why I think it's suddenly got so much longer than it ever used to be and it's a lot thicker. Um, this is like my number one hack of all time, so I'm going to reveal my secrets. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this technique before, but if you haven't, you are in for a treat. Now there is a chance that this doesn't work on every hair type. I've told my sister about this and she tried it and she says it just doesn't work. It works best if you do it um, at night, not with wet hair. If you do it with wet hair, your hair's just not going to dry and it'll just be a mess in the morning. So not wet hair is ideal. And you want to brush it through so that there's no tangles in it, which I shall do now. This really is the most unflattering angle, the worst lighting. Please forgive me. Don't let it put you off. Press subscribe. See what else I have going on. And click the like button. Anyway, hair's prepped. You can see the curls are kind of gone now and it's a bit brisé. You're gonna need a fluffy dressing gown rope. Fluffy is best because uh, the texture really helps to hold the hair in place. If you've got a silk one, it just tends to slide about and it's too thin. So fluffy dressing gown is the best. And then you part your hair at the back, pop it over the top, an even size. Have your hair tie ready on your hand, and then take one piece, the front piece, wrap it round the back, bring it to the front. Then all you're gonna do is grab the rest with your hand and then just start wrapping. Literally, if you haven't tried this, this could change your life. Here we go. And then, and it's kind of gross, but I hold it in my mouth. I can do that on. Get it, wrap it in, wrap it in, and wrap it in. Okay, then you take them round to the back, you get your hair tie, and just tie it up. Um, I find I can sleep with this in, it doesn't cause any discomfort really, it's all soft. Now I look like I'm from the Victorian ages, it's quite neat and tidy. Um, and there it is, I'll try and show you the back. And I just sleep in that, and in the morning, beautiful curls. You're welcome. Good morning. Um, I just wanted to show you the curls once I took my hair out. You can see they're crazy curls. So, yeah, this is what it looks like first thing in the morning. Um, so, house is tidy, everything's restocked and ready. I'm off to do a park run, try and get back into my fitness. My running particular, running in particular, really helps with mental health and um, staying positive. So, that's my plan. Thanks for watching, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.